I'm Natasha Watley, two-time Olympian. In today's continued conversation about our hitting progression, we are going to talk about getting to contact and hitting to extension. These are two essentials to help you understand how you should be at contact and how you should be once you actually have hit the ball and put the ball into play. So this is going to be something great that you can kind of go back to, not something that you should necessarily do every single day, but something that once your swing starts to feel off, that you start to kind of break down your swing and kind of get an understanding of what you look like at contact, what you look like at extension. Some things to think about are making sure that for once I get to contact that I am palm up, I'm palm down. I don't want to make sure that I'm opening up too far. So making sure that I'm keeping my front shoulder not wide open. I want to think about staying linear and squared as long as possible so that I can get behind this ball and trying to project this ball right back up the middle. Okay, so what I don't want is I don't want my hands to be casted out. I don't want to be palm down, palm up with my bottom hand. This is a little dr dramatic or drastic, but just trying to give you a sense so that you can kind of check yourself when you're at home. So making sure that you're staying behind the ball. I'm palm up, I'm palm down, staying behind on contact, so for your first progression of this drill, you can just do a series where you just go and you stop, you get behind. Then the next progression, you can make sure that you can continue on and hit and get to extension, but on extension, you wanna kind of check yourself that your hands are facing or pointing right back up the middle. So I always say, punch the pitcher, get the pitcher, something attacking right up the middle. What you don't want is your hands on extension to be facing, in my case, down first baseline or right field and for a righty down third base or left field. So making sure that you're keeping everything behind that ball and right back up the middle. So this drill will help someone who technically has like a long swing, who's not straight to the ball, who is not correct at contact, they're not correct at extension. So this drill is great to help you just be faster to the ball, have a little bit of a more compact swing. You don't wanna have like a long, long, lengthy swing. So we always wanna be efficient. So make sure you start to implement this drill. So over the last four weeks, we have thrown so many different drills at you that you can start to incorporate into your hitting routine today. We've talked about one arms, we've talked about the walk-up drill, the flamingo drill, and lastly with our contact and extension drill. These are all things that can kind of fine tune your swing, create some muscle memory, and kind of help you if you start to get off gear or get off line. You can always revert back to these simple drills and incorporate them every single day. If this is your first time tuning in to Tasha's Tips, make sure you can see my other videos on defense, slapping, things that can help you off the field, and I will hope to see you in my future videos. See you soon. If you want an action plan, make sure you hit the link below to get a sample hitting routine that I used to do every single day. I'll give it to you for free. It's going to walk you through what you should do off of a tee, front toss, and what you should eventually do off of live. So make sure you hit the link now.